Alright guys, it's a weird time of day right now. Right now it's 11.08 p.m. and I'm a little bit salty. I'm gonna tell you why I'm salty. So I just got back home, I was hanging out with my friend Nick all day, it was a great day and we took like a bunch of dope pictures and stuff. I made a whole video about it. And then me and my mom both realized that my tinier cat named Socks hasn't been home like all day, which is kind of normal. My cats like, like to walk around outside and like just like hang out in my neighborhood and stuff. I literally Snapchat myself walking my cats like all the time. Here, I'll play one. There's a Snapchat right here. Yo. What's up, dude? Just taking my cat for a walk. Come on, let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> Yo, what's good, dude? All right, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Yeah, so that's literally what I do, like, almost on a daily basis, to be honest. And I guess some people in my neighborhood still haven't understood that because today my mom walked outside and found this found this letter. I'm gonna just keep my camera locked on this for a little while so you can read this and stuff. You can pause it if you want. It's basically this whole thing about how someone found my cat at like 1am like way earlier this morning than like I guess animal control took it to the fucking shelter. And it also says after five days the cat will be available for adoption and LA sometimes still euthanizes animals so you better go to the shelter ASAP. And that shit is what's scaring me. That's why I'm salty. I don't care about, you know, Socks has to spend a night at a shelter or whatever. That's not like that big of a deal. It's just the euthanization thing and the fact that somebody could just take her after five days. So I tweeted about it and everybody on Twitter was like hella concerned. They were super concerned about everything that was going on, which is really cool. Thank you to Twitter for, you know, being concerned. I think I'm gonna go to the shelter tomorrow morning at like 8 in the morning and I'm gonna bring this, this thing with me. And I'm gonna bring also like veterinarian records and everything that we have. I hope it's not like too big of a process because like I read some bad reviews about this fucking animal shelter. This dude, let me show you dude. So there's this whole review about this shelter where this person basically, to sum it up, just like brought a stray dog to see if it had a microchip, like it says. And then after a while, like, wanted to take care of the dog and adopt it. The original owner never picked up the dog. And then after that, they were supposed to allow the person to adopt the dog on the 10th day, which is the day before he was supposed to be euthanized. And then he called three times on day nine and received a busy signal, finally got through and got told that the dog got put down that morning. So I'm really not trying to have some kind of shit like that happen to me. Like, bro, you don't understand how much I just want everything to go smoothly, okay? I miss my cat. I know April misses her really bad. April's pretty depressed over everything. I'm really sorry. Um, Socks is gonna come back, okay? It's gonna be chill. I told you, like, I fucking love my cats, and, like, without me knowing that they're here, it's pretty weird. It's, like, a really weird, like, feeling right now. It's so weird. Hopefully, this shit is the one time that this ever happens, and that I get her back normally with no kind of, you know, hassle or anything. So, yeah, the plan is tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I'm gonna go there with my mom, and we're gonna try and get her back, and then I'll vlog everything. Hopefully, everything goes fine. And, yeah, thanks again for the support, because fuck, dude, this is so annoying. Oh, and this is great, too. I guess they put an adoption page up for socks because my mom just sent this to me. There's this thing on the shelter's website that has all her info and is putting her up for adoption, bro. Like, are you serious? Adoption fees include... This is so... Shitty. They said it would take five days for people to adopt it. Why the fuck is this up on their website? Dude? I'm a little annoyed guys. I'm sorry. I'm a little pissed. It's a late night. We'll get her back, dude. Whatever. Alright guys, it's about that time. It's about that time we go get socks back. I'm ready for this. Let's get it. Gotta take the cat carrier. You I'll take it, yeah. She's gonna go in here. And I'm also bringing the, the sticker, like I said, like the, the thing we found yesterday. It's such bullshit, though, that I have to deal with this, dude. This is why I have to go to the animal shelter. Also, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't film too much inside of the animal shelter because, like, they're pretty mean people from what I've heard. I'm not trying to piss them off in any way, so once I get there, I'll try and record, but if I don't record, like, too much, you'll, you'll understand why. Someone uh, knows where this our cat is from because they put it on our gate. But he definitely from our building probably just called and saw this cat all the time walking around and was sick of it at Meantime, one point. In the meantime, there is a, the other cats, stray cats that are... Walking around everywhere. Oh, I saw one yesterday. Yo, it's time. We're going to the animal shelter. You want me to carry it? I'll carry the cat carrier. Go into the animal shelter, get in my cat. I don't know how much I can film in there, like I said, but... We have proof of it too, Yes, I have pictures when she was. I have an Instagram of her. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. a famous cat. It's she like, has her own. She, oh, yeah. she has that's her own Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I made an Instagram for my cat, otherwise, they wouldn't have known that it was my cat. I showed them this picture of socks, and then they were like, oh, yeah, that's the cat. They like recognized some marking or something. <laughs> it was crazy. Hey, what's up? I love the cats in here. You gonna lick me? You do? <laughs> Yo, you're so cute. This cat is dope. I like you. 
Look, this kind of looks like socks. This kind of looks like our cat, but it's not our cat. He has the same eyes though. <laughs> Yo, we can't get socks today. There's a problem. Uh, I'll talk about it in a second, but I'm pretty annoyed. I wish I could get her right now. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back home. Back home in my castle. And I just want to update you guys about socks because this is kind of a weird situation and I don't know if it's gonna end today or if it's gonna end on a different day. Basically what happened was I went to the shelter like I showed in the video just now and they told me that like they needed to keep socks there for a little while longer just so they could like vaccinate and they also want to fix her too. They want to spay her. They want to do the basic like veterinary care. That would be cool with me but I just like really wanted her back then. Like I didn't want to do the vet thing right now but I guess I have to. They didn't want to release me socks until that was taken care of so I guess the only thing I'm worried about is that while they're doing that, they still have the adoption page for Socks uh, on their website, like showing broadcasting Socks to everybody who wants her, like sh like giving descriptions and everything, and like saying that she's up for adoption, which is pretty annoying. And I'm just kind of worried that somebody might take her before we get her back. I'm supposed to go back to the shelter today in a couple hours at like 4:30. So I'll be there at 4:30 to try and get her back. But if something happens and she's not there, I know it's like a really really slim chance. But if that was the case and some bullshit like that happened just I'm so scared because I read a review about this specific animal shelter where the same kind of thing happened to someone But then they lost their dog that really like scared me So I'm just like worried, but that's just me, bro. It's fine I'm, I'm sure everything is gonna turn out. Okay, but I just wanted to update I'll vlog later today when I go to the shelter and try and pick her up and everything will be in, in the next video I'll explain it if I get her back. I'll tell you about it in the next video I'll even show you footage of socks. It's just pretty scary bro April is just here hella depressed trying to figure out what happened to the other cat there's only one half of the food bowl right now because socks isn't here to eat hers we'll get her back April don't worry I have you and you're the OG cat so yeah that's the whole situation I hope I explained everything like to its full extent I might have missed something but that's all I really know thank you for you know supporting this because it's pretty 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 shitty bro it's a, such a shitty feeling so yeah if you like this video thank you like from the bottom of my heart thank you that's gonna be the end of this video leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more videos but i'm gonna head out and chill so yeah peace out